Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Northern Swamp, northeast of the Eastern Barracks, building a Swamp House. This is one of those builds that just popped into my head overnight and seemed like a pretty good idea, so I jumped on Conan and got right to it. I'll be using mods in this build, mainly in decoration but also partially in construction. You can see those mods on screen now. As usual, this build was previously streamed live on Twitch. If you'd like to see upcoming builds before they reach YouTube, along with having input on them in real time, feel free to drop me a follow on Twitch to catch my next stream tomorrow. As always, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 70% off NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt, or use code eradyt at checkout. Stick around to the end of the video to learn more about how to unlock the full potential of the internet with NordVPN. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with, of course, the base plate. Rather than using foundations or fence foundations, I decided to use pillars to hold the build up, almost as if the home is built on stilts. I decided to build a multi-leveled home to take advantage of the slightly rickety and suspended design of the build, with various platforms holding buildings of different sizes and heights, which helps to make this build feel and look more unique. With the material palette I chose, which is almost entirely insulated wood, I'm aiming to create something that feels really rustic, yet inside the actual build feels quite homely and warm. Next, I started on the walls, building up the first part of the home, which will be the main living area. I used pillar extension pieces from the glass constructions and more mod to place pillars in the corners of the build, helping each building feel a bit more sturdy. As some of you may know, before I made Conan content, I made a lot of similar arc content, and one thing I do miss about all the time I spent building on arc is being able to build pillars in the corner of houses like I'm doing here. So being able to do that with the GCAM mod is great. I know a lot of people have mentioned it before about placing pillars right in the corner of the builds, and it does look, structurally at least, quite good. There's no native support for it yet, and I think it's it's not a big issue, but it is something that I'd like to see added at some point. You know, Funcom probably will add it, knowing that they've been pretty good about catering to the community's specific needs so far, but hopefully we can see that added natively into Conan soon. I built the walls two tiles high for the ground floor. I didn't add any windows at this point to any of the structures, though in the furnishing phase I added window frames from the GCAM mod, which works really well with this build. I built the small storage hut on the lower platform, and the kitchen next to the main living area one floor high, building the living area two floors high, adding a staircase up from the balcony on the front side of the build, and down from the ground floor to the workshop underneath the building. Finally, I built roofs over each build, creating simple roof designs. I built the corner pillars that I constructed earlier up to sit over the roofs, so that I could have some very subtle lighting on those pillars.
Finally, when the Sheller build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the pillars with bracketed torches, which adds a nice delicate light to the build. Heading over towards the fishing hut area, this is where the resident can fish for food, with a fishing chair at the back of the area, and a small hut with storage options including chests for storing bait and any junk fished up, and a preserving box for keeping the fish nice and fresh. Next we reach the kitchen. This is a simple yet quite cosy kitchen that works well to provide all the necessary resources to prepare and serve food, especially fish and the meat of the various nearby animals in the swamp. Heading into the main building, we first reach the lounge. This is a nice simple area of relaxation, where the resident can take a break after a hard day of hunting or fishing. Heading downstairs we reach the workshop. This tiny area manages to pack a decent amount of workstations in that can be used by the resident to process various different materials found in the nearby area. Finally heading upstairs we reach the bedroom. This is a simple yet comfortable bedroom that provides a good place for the resident to sleep. And there we have it, a swamp house in the northern swamp, northeast of the eastern barracks. Thanks for watching, I enjoyed making this build quite a bit, I actually found it quite enjoyable, so hopefully you've all enjoyed it too. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. 
if you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure your location can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to unlock region-locked content like Netflix, BBC, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more, whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is perfect for you. When you use my link or discount code, you can get 70% off a 3 year deal, which comes out to $3.49 a month or about £2.80 if you're in the UK, which is a bargain price for such a great service. The software is a small download and it's easy to use, one click and you are both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt to claim this huge discount, or use code eradyt at checkout to get the best VPN service available on the internet, and also help to support me and the channel at the same time. As always, a big thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. And don't forget you can get 70% off NordVPN when you use code eradyt at checkout, or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and the pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. During the lockdown, most of us are still in. The video previews that are usually restricted to the $20 tier will be open for the $10 tier as well, so everyone's got a little bit more content to enjoy. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel, feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Dawnfox, MK Pantheon, and Daniel Dahlgreen. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.